Wirecast is Telestream's live streaming solution designed for multi-camera programs. Unlike a traditional hardware switcher, it doesn't require any specialist hardware as it's a software-based vision mixer. This means you can run it on any computer that meets the minimum system requirements. What you can do, however, is add an I.O. device from companies like AGA or Blackmagic Design to give you a way to bring in cameras as a source into your computer. This makes mixing between a camera and the sources on your computer, like your desktop or graphics, much simpler. As Wirecast is a software-based mixer, you can stream directly to any platform like YouTube, Facebook Live or Twitch. To add to this, you can record your program directly to your computer's hard drive. This means that you can always go back and edit your show after it's been streamed. Neither streaming nor recording to your computer requires any extra hardware. So let's jump into Wirecast and take a look at the basics of configuring a live stream. This is the basic layer you'll see when opening Wirecast and creating a new project. At the top of the application you'll see two viewers. The left hand viewer is the preview viewer, which shows you what's currently lined up to go live. On the right hand side we have the program viewer which shows you what is currently live. Underneath that we have our layer tracks. Like a traditional hardware mixer we can layer graphics and video to create our final image. To start let's add my webcam as a source to this layer. To do that I'll click on the plus button and select my webcam from the pop-up menu. As you can see it's now added my webcam as a source and is automatically displaying it in the preview monitor. To make that live, all I'd have to do is click this transition button. Next to the transition button, we have these two drop down menus. These two drop down menus allow you to select from different types of transitions. As an example, I'm going to select radial light. If I then clear my layer, my viewer in my left hand side goes black and now if I transition, you can see the radial wipe take effect. You may also have noticed that I've put my webcam on the second layer. The reason that I've done this is so that I can add a layer on top of it. If I click the plus button again, you can see that I can select from a range of titles. For this video, I'm going to use the default social media title. However, you can load in your own graphics if you want to. As you can see, it's loaded this layer in and it's put it in the preview monitor. If I want to edit my title, all I have to do is use this sidebar here. So let's start by adding my name. Scan Pro Video. If I want to adjust any of the parameters of this title, I can do so here. Now, if I have my video live, I can clear specific layers, or I can add specific layers back in with the click of the transition button. It's worth noting that the properties for any of your sources can be adjusted from this sidebar. If I select my webcam again, you can see that I now get the properties for this webcam. I can go back to my social media title and then I have the properties for that. I also have properties for things like audio or even green screens. As I mentioned earlier, we can use capture cards as sources as well. I currently have an Xbox One connected to an Intensity Pro 4K from Blackmagic Design. So if I go back to my layer here and add another source, I can select my Intensity Pro 4K. You can see now it has added the Xbox One as another source. So I can clear all my layers if I want to, transition back to black, and then bring on just my Xbox One. Wirecast also supports Mutex NDI, or Network Device Interface, which means any NDI source on the network can be recognised as a source for Wirecast. We can even add in video clips and other media as a source. To do this, we'll go to the File drop-down menu and select Import Media. As you can see, my media has been loaded in and is now in the preview bar. It has a small playhead here where I can set a range using in and out points. I can also play this back and then when playing back, I can make it live as well. Let's go back to my webcam. As you can see, 
I have my four sources here. If I want to view all four sources at the same time, I can easily do so by clicking the small multi-viewer button underneath the preview window. This brings up a pop-up menu where I can select what screen I want them to be shown on, and I can assign each of these windows a different source. As you can see, I now have my multi-viewer on the monitor that I chose. I have a red border around the program window and a green border around the preview window. Finally, we're going to look at setting up our outputs from Wirecast. To do so, we'll click on the Output and then Output Settings button, which opens up a pop-up window where we can select from a range of destinations. For this example, I'm going to select YouTube and then select OK. This will open up all the settings we need to get started with streaming directly to YouTube. If I want to add any additional sources, like recording directly to my computer's hard drive, I can do so by clicking the Add button in this output sidebar. I hope that this video has been helpful in showing you how powerful a streaming solution Wirecast actually is. If you have any streaming questions, or any workflow questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact the ScanPro video team, who are always happy to help.